Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the person that you are currently in a no contact situation with. I'll be taking a look at what their feelings were for you at the start of the no contact between the two of you. Then I'll see what their current feelings are for you right now at this moment. And then I'll see what actions will they be taking toward you moving forward. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see what your person's feelings were for you at the beginning of the no contact. Let's see. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me how did this person feel about Libra at the start or or at the beginning of the no contact between them. How did this person feel about Libra at the start of the no contact between them? All right, here we go. First card is the Queen of Cups and their feelings. Also the Six of Swords. Also, the Page of Cups. At the bottom, the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. So this person felt like, like you didn't, like you didn't want anything to do with them. That's what they felt. They felt like you were shutting down. They felt like you were closing off. You were turning your back on them. You're, you were ignoring them. That's why they decided to um, stop communication with you or become more distant with you because they felt like you were being emotionally distant with them. So their mentality was basically, let me give Libra some space because it kind of looks like Libra's not happy with me. You know, Libra's upset, Libra's disappointed. Let me just not bother Libra for a while, you know? Let me try not to talk to Libra or contact Libra. Let me just leave Libra alone because um, I don't want Libra to get even more upset with me. Or I don't want to. I don't want to trigger Libra even more. Negative, negatively trigger Libra even more. So the no contact happened because of how they were viewing you. Well, how were they viewing you? Let me see a little bit more about that. Hmm. Tell me more about how this person was viewing Libra spirit with the with the Queen of Cups and the Six of Swords. Tell me more about how this person was viewing Libra with the Queen of Cups and the Six of Swords at the start of the no contact. The moon. Yeah, very emotionally closed off. Um, very private, secretive withdrawn in your energy, kind of like you were in hermit mode. They felt a lot of coldness from you. It's interesting how this person doesn't, didn't seem so affected with the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, this person seems pretty, you know, fine and dandy. But the way they're viewing you as, as someone who feels hurt, someone who feels disappointed or someone who feels upset. Mainly disappointed and hurt. That's how they were viewing you. But it's almost like they know that it's because of them, that, that the reason why you're hurt and disappointed is because of them. And there is an energy of them wanting to apologize, wanting to make things right with you, 
but feeling like right now you're not going to want to hear from them or see them. So it's, it's best to just leave you alone and, you know, give you your space. That's what, that's what they thought. That was their um, mentality at the beginning of the no contact between the two of you. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's take a look at um, how do they feel about you right now at the moment. Let's see their current feelings. Here we go. I'm going to get another deck. Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me how does this person currently feel about Libra at the moment? What are this person's current feelings for Libra, please? <clears throat> All right, in their current feelings, we have the three of wands. Yeah, so they currently feel a lot of distance between the two of you. This could be physical distance, but also emotional distance. All right, tell me more. How does this person currently feel about Libra? We also have the Strength card. We also have the Page of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant card. Interesting, okay. So they still feel like you're holding back from them with the Strength card. They still feel like you are in your own world, um, keeping your distance from them. They still feel like you might potentially not want to hear from them or um, see them. Um, this person does seem to be watching you and spying on you with the Page of Swords. Um, some way, somehow, it does look like they are keeping tabs on you. And they, again, they do feel like you might potentially still be upset or disappointed or, you know, hurt. Um, because it kind of looks like this person has been waiting with the three of wands. They, they've been waiting to hear from you or, you know, they've been waiting to see if you would reach out to them. Or like make some sort of appearance in their life or give them some sort of, you know, signal. That, that you're open to them again. With the Hierophant card at the bottom of the deck, it does look like this person um, they want this relationship with you. They want this relationship back in their life because they feel like you bring a lot of value to their life. They feel like with you, they can have stability and security and, you know, a good foundation. And they see you as someone who's reliable, someone who is all about commitment and loyalty. And they feel safe with you and they want that type of relationship in their life or they want it back in their life. Hmm. All right, I'm going to clarify. I do want to do a little clarification. Um, looking at the Page of Swords. Yeah. Hmm. This person keeps showing up as a page, by the way. First, they showed up as a Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Now they're showing up as a Page of Swords. Um, so pages are people that um, are immature. Also pages are people that um, they don't quite have all the stability that they would like to have in their life. Um, they're still in the beginning stages of 
becoming independent and self-sufficient, and they mainly need somebody else to take care of them. They look for someone to take care of them. They search for that. And they are looking at you as someone who is very um, caring and someone who is very independent and strong in your own energy. So they definitely see you as someone who could take care of them very well. They see you as someone stable. All right, tell me about the Page of Swords and um, their current feelings for Libra. So we have the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Ace of Cups. Interesting. So this person's a little bit obsessed with you. Um, interesting. They're obsessed with holding on to this relationship with you. They're obsessed with, with keeping you in their life. And they're obsessed with recovering the relationship with you, with the Ace of Cups. So this person doesn't plan on allowing you to walk away from them. It's like they're, they're giving you your time and your space, but by no means do they plan on allowing you to walk away. They're just hoping that this time apart will give them better chances of of um, recovering their relationship with you. Well, I mean, not necessarily. That could also cause you to um, drift away from them even more. But they're hoping that it won't do that. They're hoping that this time apart will cause you to want them again. Yeah, they definitely see you as someone who is very nurturing and someone who um, they someone who like um, feeds them, like heals them, makes them feel better, and they're obsessed with keeping you. All right, so let's see what this person is going to do because it kind of looks like this person is strategizing a little bit here. Their mind seems a little bit strategic is what I'm getting. But I don't know what, what exactly are, their strat are they strategizing. So let's see. Let's see what actions will they be taking moving forward. All right, here we go. I'm going to use another deck. All right. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what actions will this person be taking towards Libra moving forward, please? What actions will this person be taking towards Libra moving forward? All right, here we go. So we have the Seven of Swords. We also have the Nine of Swords. Interesting. We also have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. We have, well, high priestess. What's going on here? What are you keeping for me, Libra? What are you hiding? High priestess is all about hiding things, especially with the seven of swords. I might have to dig into you a little bit, dig into your energy. All right, let me clarify. Spirit, tell me about the High Priestess to the Seven of Swords. I feel like you're doing something, Libra, so I'm just gonna investigate that. Tell me about the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords. All right, so we have the Page of Swords. 
No. We also have the King of Cups. Mm -hmm. We also have Page of Pentacles. So you know this person is um, going to show up. Like, uh, you, you, this is not a surprise to you, basically, with the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords. It's no surprise to you that this person is um, returning back to you, wanting to apologize, um, same as the beginning here. Um, at the start of the no contact, this is the same energy. So they're coming back around to, to once again try to apologize to you and make things right with you and um, recover the relationship with you because according to them, they love you with the King of Cups. They love you and they don't, they don't want to be without you. Um, you were expecting to hear from this person. Your intuition was telling you that you know, eventually this person is going to try to, you know, do everything that I already said they were going to do here. They seem to be um, not happy, though. So I don't feel like you're giving them what they want. Let's see what, what, what that's about. Spirit, tell me about the Nine of Swords in um, their actions and also the outcome. The Two of Swords. Ooh, Libra. Uh-uh. Yeesh. Oh, man. Yikes. I feel like you're not having it, Libra, with the Two of Swords. You're definitely pushing this person back away from you. Pushing this person off away from you. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords energy. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person just wants to reconcile with you with the Ten of Cups. You're not allowing it to happen, though, with the Two of Swords. Um, you've made your choice with the Lover's card that... You're not going to allow this person to come back into your life. All right, but I want to I want to know what you're doing. So let me see if I can get that information. How does Libra feel about this person's spirit moving forward? What feelings are what feelings is Libra holding moving forward towards this person? What's Libra's, what are Libra's feelings and what energy is Libra harnessing moving forward towards this person with this energy of the High Priestess here? So we have Knight of Swords, we have the Magician, we also have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, okay, you don't want to tell me. Bottom of the deck, the Fool, the Ten of Swords, the Chariot. Yeah, Libra, you don't you you don't want to tell me. <laughs> no, your energy doesn't want to come out here, Libra. Six of Cups, Eight of Wands, and the Death card. Let me ask one more time. What are Libra's feelings? What are Libra's feelings? Moving forward. What are Libra's feelings moving forward? Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Swords, Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, you know, Libra, some of you are just kind of a little bit emotionally numb. Hmm. You know what it is? I also feel like you're recovering. That's what it is. You're just you're 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 starting to recover from whatever heartbreak, um, disappointment, pain that you experienced with this person. You know, grief that you experienced with them, stress, whatever it is that um, whatever whatever it is that you experienced with them that was negative, that was difficult. 
you're 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 starting to recover from it. So there's no there's not a lot of reaction in your energy. You know? That cuz that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a reaction from you, but there's not a lot of reaction in your energy because you're you're kind of almost healed. It's like you you feel healed. You you're okay. You feel okay. You see with the 9 of cups, queen of cups, 8 of cups, you're in this energy of acceptance and also healing. Hmm. So it's kind of like nothing surprises you, you know, nothing really causes a reaction in you. You you've kind of seen it all. You know, it's kind of like that energy. You've seen it all, you've heard it all. Like nothing is nothing is an impact on you anymore. It feels to me like you're just ready to leave this behind with the 8 of cups and you're ready to like reconnect with yourself and and find happiness within you, within your own self. I feel like that's what you're mainly focused on. Okay? So, yeah, I just don't see that this person is going to get what they want. It looks like this apology is a little bit too late. Or it's too small. It's a little bit too late or it's just too small compared to the damage that was done. You know, if that makes sense. All right, Libra, um, I hope um, this reading helped in some way. I hope it gave clarity. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.